Greetings. This presentation will illustrate the creation of a plan for implementation of an electronic health record system at a hospital using the Microsoft Project software. The purpose of this project is to create a project schedule using the work breakdown of the different tasks required in the implementation of the electronic health record system. Once all the different tasks and subtasks and the interdependencies are inputted into the Microsoft Project software, it was determined that the total time for implementation of the system will be 238 business days. If the project begins on Monday, March 3, 2009, it is scheduled to be finished on Wednesday, February 3, 2010. The subsequent slides will illustrate how these dates were determined and the assumptions used in determining them. The table on the top of this slide illustrates the seven different component tasks required for implementation of the electronic health record. These tasks are patient information management, clinical information system, laboratory, pharmacy, radiology, imaging, and nutrition and food service. The assumptions used in creating this work breakdown are that even though the hospital is open for patient care seven days a week, the electronic health record can only be implemented during the work week of Monday through Friday. Secondly, configuration of different tasks can begin simultaneously unless specified that configuration of certain tasks must be completed before moving on to the next one. On the bottom, this same table is positioned next to the Gantt chart that was created by Microsoft Project so that one can have a visual representation of when each task can begin implementation. As you can see, the project must begin with the configuration of patient information management. When this is completed, laboratory, radiology, and nutrition and food service can begin. When these are configured, pharmacy and imaging can begin. The last thing that is implemented is the clinical information system because it is dependent on the configuration of all of the other tasks. Each of the tasks mentioned in the previous slide have certain subtasks that must be completed. Each of these subtasks has a configuration component and usually a training component as well, but not always. One important thing to note is that training for any of the subtasks can only begin when the configuration has been completed. However, more than one training can occur simultaneously. Whenever the start of one task is dependent on another, Microsoft Project makes it easy to link this dependency by inputting the row number of that task in the predecessor column, as you can see in the table. When it is dependent on more than one, you can separate them by commas and the software will automatically determine which dependent task has the latest completion date and will start the new task after that date. Here we can see the different subtasks for patient information management. These include admission, discharge and transfer, patient registration, enterprise master patient index, and patient scheduling. Here we can see the subtasks for the laboratory column. The Gantt chart on the right shows the breakdown of the subtasks in purple and links them to the next task that is dependent on completion with arrows. The different subtasks here are anatomic pathology, microbiology, and chemistry. You can see, for example, that anatomic pathology is dependent on the configuration of microbiology and chemistry, so rows 48 and 51 are inputted into the predecessor's column. Here we can see the radiology subtasks, which are radi general radiology and nuclear medicine. We can also see the nutrition and food services subtasks, which are clinical nutrition and food service management. You may have also noticed that the number of days for configuration and training are inputted into the duration column. The total days are then automatically computed by the software for each of the tasks and then for the entire project as a whole. The breakdown of the pharmacy and imaging subtasks can be seen in the table here. The prerequisite subtasks can be seen by looking in the predecessor column and referring to the number of each row it directs you to. For example, the document imaging subtask in row 77 is dependent on configuration of the clinical image viewer, which is row 75. Lastly, here are the subtasks for the clinical information system. You can read each one in the table above.
When the duration of all the subtasks are summed, this task has the longest total duration at 119 days. Although the slideshow demonstrated the use of Microsoft Project for implementation of an electronic health record system, this software can be a useful tool for any manager to keep track of a project in any organization. The software helps to visualize the project plan as a Gantt chart so that it can be easily seen which task is interdependent for which other tasks. The software also allows one to estimate the start and end dates for the various components of the project so that the manager can keep track of each department in the organization to make sure they have made the appropriate progress by certain dates. Lastly, the software is easily modifiable to adapt to unforeseen changes.